Zanopia Fuits in Headlands are reportedly eyeing farms allocated to party big wigs in the constituency, among them the former finance minister Patrick Chinamasa and former agriculture minister Joseph Made, which they claim are oversized. Last Friday, Headlands MP Christopher Chingosho of the Zanopia party invited the constituency's commercial farmers and A2 farmers for an emergency meeting over the issue. Newsday is in possession of the invitation letter whose main agenda was downsizing of farms and the formation of the Headlands Development Committee. All the A2 and commercial farm owners in Headlands constituency are required to attend the meeting in person and on time, the letter read. However, sources in Headlands told reporters that Chingosho was targeting Chinamasa's farm as there were reports that the former finance minister had plans to become MP for the area in 2023. Chingosho is reportedly unleashing news on those he believes to be his competitors in the constituency. The meeting took place but Chingosho did not mention Chinamasa and Made by name. The issue is about underutilized farms owned by big bosses, which are more than 400 hectares, and youths want some of the land that Made and Chinamasa are failing to utilize, a source has said. Both Chinamasa and Made definitely have oversized farms, and youths want that land. Chinamasa's farm in Headlands is called Tsukamai Farm, and it is almost 3,000 hectares, while Made's farm is almost 1,500 hectares, Tara Farm, the source said. The reason Chingosho is also going after Chinamasa is that Chinamasa can't win Rusape Eben Makoni Central, so he's also looking for rural headlands and the constituency in the next election in order to protect his interest. In the 2018 elections, Chinamasa lost the Makoni Central seat to David Tekeshe, now in the MDCT. However, a youth in headlands told reporters on condition of anonymity that they were actually eyeing large tracts of underutilized land in the hands of some party big wigs. We as the youth are suffering and we don't have land, yet some of our big bosses have land which they are failing to fully utilize, the youth said. Chingo Sho confirmed the meeting, adding that in their recommendations, there was the issue of giving land to the youth. We had a meeting on Friday and we recommended giving our youth land and other groups of people after the downsizing of the farms, which was another recommendation we did. The issue of downsizing is a government policy and the issue has been addressed in the parliament, he said. But here in the Headlands, I believe the youths are the most affected when it comes to getting the land. Chingosho, however, refuted the allegations that the downsizing of farms was targeting Chinamasa and Mali. No, they are not being targeted. We are just following what the government said and we should do, he said. The Zanopia Provincial Youth Chairperson Tawanda Mkoza was not reachable for comment.